What's going on, fools? This is Craig B coming back at you with a quick little, uh, quick little video. I didn't know what to say there. Quick little uh, pickups. What I completed. Nothing crazy in terms of cards going on. I planned on doing uh, a big, not a big break, but just like almost like a break of a couple hanger packs and stuff. Just a fun break uh, last week, and well, it's still this week technically. This last week, not weekend. And I come home on Tuesday night, and I was either going to do it that night when I got home or the next day. And the toilet had clogged up, the stopper broke and didn't stop refilling over and over. And I'd been gone for about eight hours that day. So we had water seeping through the ceiling and pouring down our ceiling fan onto our kitchen table. Our computer was on the table. Computer's still working, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of damage. The, the roof is removed from my dining room area. Like half the floor is removed. They're gonna have to end up taking out the whole floor to replace it, but half the floor is removed. They took out the toilet. They fixed it, so we fixed the toilet first and then uh, removed the toilet and the flooring in the bathroom. So it's a big fucking mess, pardon my language. Okay, don't pardon it, but. So I'm living in a hotel right now for another two, probably two more days until they get this, uh, clean they finally get it dried out and then cleaned up and then we're going to come back here and then find the contractor to repair the work so here's my girl candace i'm hoping to get ttm or other interesting cards soon i don't want to look at candace very much longer but thank you anyway candace bergen and your facsimile autograph i'm assuming so the first thing is i finally finished one of my sets and uh, I call it the master set because I also needed the stickers. We have 1990 upper deck. We ended up getting the Reggie, the baseball heroes from series two. I got that set of Reggies. Now, when you say master set, Theoretically, the master set would have to be every single autograph in it from Reggie, and that's not going to happen. No one would assume that to happen, so I'm not including autographs in this. So I did get all, here's all the stickers. This was a pain in the ass to get. I had over half of them, but yes, I actually did have to spend a couple bucks and order some more stickers online. So I, when I went through to make sure I had all the cards, there were three cards missing that I didn't know about, so I had to order those again. I found one of those cards before I actually ordered it, set it here. The roommate came up and got his hands on it and ruined it, so I had to order those three cards. But we have completed our first set, and my quest to finally complete all these half sets I had. 1990 Upper Deck. 1991 Score Series 2. I completed the first set of the Series 2. Um, just a couple cards away from series one and a couple cards away from the second series two set So I'll let you I'll keep you updated on that exciting information So Eric classic remember when I ordered this Cal Ripken jr. And the guy sent me the wrong one and You're the one that pointed it out because I was wasn't even paying attention Well, I finally got the refund on that. He didn't have it ordered another one the last one I could find on eBay so I now have this for the score 94 select. So I was holding off on doing any more in that series until I got this Ripken because I just didn't want to forget about it. So I'm going to start working in that set again here once I get everything else that I ordered and accounted for. Uh, I'm not going to show you every little thing I got. I needed a Bo Jackson. They sent me a, a guy sent me a bow with an extra bonus bow football card, a score bow. Um, I ordered. Even though this is not considered to be part of the 92 upper deck set that they list on there, it's considered to be separate. I ordered this set, 1992 Major League Baseball Team MVP Holographic Card Set. Uh, the low run, the low run number of 216,000 sets, as you can see there. So I'm one of the lucky 216,000. So this wasn't expensive. I ordered this. I'm probably going to open it, just not right now. I mean, it's not valuable enough to keep in the plastic uh, i might as well open it up and just enjoy it uh, what else did i get somebody sent me shit i can't remember what somebody said oh no it came with this upper deck set 
The dude sends me this fake million dollar bill of Kobe Bryant in memory, but he had it packaged so the bill was standing up like this. And I should have assumed that there was a free Kobe Bryant one million dollar fake memor in memory bill in there, but I didn't. So it got ripped on the top. So I have a Kobe Bryant fake ripped bill. So I don't know where that came from. I really don't want to know. Let's open something. Um, so, before I get to opening what I have here, yeah, when I when we packed a lot of stuff to the hotel, which isn't that far away, it's like 20, 25 minutes, I packed up a bunch of cards that I was going to bring and open up. I just forgot to take the uh, the stand, so uh, I didn't know Durango was going to be on last night, and I didn't have the stand, so I didn't open anything. So, that stuff's still at the hotel. What I found here that I still have is uh, the Bowman uh, value. Haven't seen Bowman rip for a long time. I know, I know. Uh, once Bowman re released all their stuff out, everyone saw enough of it. But that's what I got. So uh, if you don't want to see Bowman, you're welcome to turn it off. This is my last Bowman hanger that I have on me. So uh, let's see if we can pull something good out of here. Maybe pull uh, Rodriguez. Is that his name? The Yankee prospect. That's way too much money or worth way too much money. I haven't opened too many of these since. And we start off with the Dustin May rookie. The Trent Grisham rookie. Ooh, we got that Bowman. We got the Bowman Kyle Lewis. That's cool. The 89 Bowman. I'll take that. It's a nice card. Grayson Rodriguez. Ronaldo Hernandez, Mason Denneberg, Franklin Perez, Gratterall, Zach Collins, and Adrian Lesjohn. It's our first pack. I love these Bowman. I, I may I don't even want to can don't even care if I get the regular set of these. I may try to get the set of those Bowman inserts. And the Bellinger and back in the second regular pack. We got some more uh, silver in there. Vado Castro, Desan Brown from Canada. Yeah, it looks like he needs a big sandwich. He looks way too skinny. Then we have the Ryan Mountcastle, Baltimore Orioles, top 100. He's number 88. Bryce Torang, I've heard that name. Julio Rodriguez. Colton Welker for the Rockies. I would say that any Rockies position player is actually kind of a possible investment guy you may want to go after. It is the Rockies. Uh, it is a position player, not a pitcher. Julio Rodriguez, Mariners. Seth Brown, I like that. Shane Bieber and Cody Bellinger. So actually some solid packs there. We still have the camo to open. So hopefully I can do another video where I open some other stuff. It'll probably be at the hotel for all I know. And let's look at the camo. We have Tristan Casas. Ooh, there's a Joe, Ode Joe Adele camo. Nice card. Gus Varland. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. I see everybody pulling that card. And then Alec the jacked up bottom left corner, Alec Manoa. So that, that Adele's cool, these camo in general are cool, I'll take these. Uh, so anyway, that's what I got right now. Like I said, I'll try to do another video. Uh, haven't been able to watch a ton of stuff, just been trying to deal with all this house stuff and the flooding and uh, the regular life stuff. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.